this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Appreciate everybody for watching my videos. Appreciate all the subscribers. And um, I just appreciate all the good information that y'all leave. Um, I just want to go through a couple of uh, storage um, ideas that I've been doing lately. And um, I've been doing it, but I'm just coming up with a new way to start storing um, magazines and ammo and stuff and guns and stuff like that. Um, you know, just have my stuff organized and ready for, you know, you know, if you got an emergency, so you need to grab some things, get some things out of the house quickly. You have everything that you need, you know, to go, whatever the case may be. So, uh, now I want to start with, I had showed you the video where um, right here with the foam inserts and stuff. And right now, um, it's kind of difficult to find a foam insert for the 50 cal ammo cans and stuff like that. So I found me a new way to put my magazines and stuff in. But I'm going to start right here. I'm right here. Um, I have my Glock handgun and stuff like that. This is where I'm storing my Glock handguns and stuff in. Um, you see that it holds um, six magazines here. And what I'll be doing, I'll be filling this in with some ammo. Um, I'm going to probably fill it with enough ammo that will fill up all the mags. So I also I have six mags here. A 33 round mag. And... Under that, you see I have the magazine loader, and under that, I have the gun and stuff, so, and um, I don't have a magazine in the gun, I just stored it, um, the gun without a magazine in it, so, for long storage preparation, um, you can put a magazine in it, that's um, optional, but I don't have that one in the gun, I have all my magazines right here, so in total I have um, seven magazines. 33 round. Um, I think I got a couple 17 rounds in here. Let me show you. Yeah, so I got a couple 17 rounds and some um, 15 round mags. So, um, and the 33 rounds. So, that's how I'm starting to store my handgun. You see how I have the cushion. Got the cushion right here. Uh, let me show you how I've been setting up with the cushion and stuff. So, Right here, you see how I cut the cushion here. Now, this cushion don't come with no tape or nothing like that. I glued it to the top, so it's glued down. So, And then I modified a little bit. You don't really have to modify, but I just cut a little bit. Um, it's fine. But when you close it, you get a good seal and everything. So you don't have to worry too much about that. I want you to get that good view of that right there. So this is, these are all 50 cal ammo cans. These are ammo cans that um, I bought for Walmart, just in case anybody asks. So, this right here is how I'm storing my, my guns and stuff. So, I will be storing another gun in here. What I will be doing with using these Ziploc bags, I will be putting approximately about 150 to 200 rounds. That's enough to fill up all magazines and stuff like that that I'm storing. So, it will be enough to cover all magazines that I'm storing inside the ammo can. So I'm just giving out some ideas. I'm quite sure y'all probably have some better ideas and stuff like that. So just wanted to share some of the things. And also, I have like, you know, the, the cleaner for the gun and stuff like that. Some back straps. Um, I keep some dry packs and stuff in here for the moisture and stuff like that. The little packs, moisture packs. Um, so, yeah, them... Um, them desiccant packs, so I keep some of those in there. So, that's a little idea that I'm showing. Now, when it comes to your rifle, your AR-15, now you can buy them um, AR-15 mag, um, the holders or whatever, but I try to keep my stuff a little compact for storage and stuff, real tight storage. So, a lot of them are hold, you know, they hold a good amount of mags, but you still have so much space inside them. Some people put between them and stuff inside. You can get them everywhere, Dick Sporting Goods and stuff like that. You've seen them um, in uh, academies and stuff. So, But what I did was I have 10 magazines right here. So I have them. 
I got 10. I have five on the bottom and um, five on top. All of them are loaded. All of them are fully loaded. So all together, I have 10 magazines loaded and it's 300 rounds. So I kind of put them in staggered so it can be in that they can be in there evenly or whatever. So just want you to see if you can uh, how I got them in there. So I got you know five on top, five on the bottom. And I have the P mags. Um, so I have the P mags right here um, with the the cap on them, the storage cap on them. So they all fully loaded, 30 rounds. I had no problem storing. I had one mag I had stored like this for over two years. I shot to see how it was gonna perform. It was a P mag, no problem whatsoever. So it's good for people who might be worried about it. Um, some people don't like it, but that's okay. But I have everything ready to go, mags loaded and everything. I always like to keep at least 10 mags loaded, fully loaded, ready to go. So, And I also keep mags in the package that I buy. So I also keep those, you know, just keep them in the package or whatever. So I like to have extra mags. Right now is probably a good time to stock up on your P mags and stuff like that. They're very cheap. I've seen some as low as 7 to $8. Um, they probably could get, them any, get any lower with discount. So... So right here, right now, I have 300 rounds loaded in the mag, and I also have about 150 rounds right here in this bag. So I got that in there with deficit packs and stuff like that. So total right now, I got 450 rounds right here. Um, I'm gonna add another 50 rounds in here, so that'll have that'll be 500 rounds, and then that'll be good. Close it up. And that be ready to go. So, you know, if I need to grab an AR and a 50 cal can, I have like 500 rounds with me ready to roll. And plus I have enough rounds to um, fill up all the magazines again. So it's best to try to have at least um, 300 rounds. So right now I'm working on what? 300 rounds in the magazine full topped off. Then have 300 rounds of spare ammo. That's enough to fill the mags back up if I need to be, if it needs to be filled back up. So that's what I'm working on. Um, I think it's a, probably a good idea to do that. So just giving out some ideas to show you, you know, what I'm working with and stuff like that. So, and like I said, I'm going to fill this one up, get that one straight. I'm going to fill this one up with magazines and stuff like that. Um, it's no particular what caliber. Um, I got... Um, lots of more ammo cans that I'm gonna have to do like this and start storing and stacking and stuff like that so um, and also I was looking at they got some you know you stack a lot of ammo cans in a closet or something like that or your ammo or whatever the case may be but I've seen they have some little locks for the 50 cal cans that you can put locks and stuff on good to keep kids or whatever the case may keep people out that can't get in the can or whatever see what's in there so that's a good idea to have. Um, I've been seeing some of those. So just wanted to show you uh, what I'm working on on my ammo stockpile, handgun stockpile collection and stuff like that. So and I'm trying to gather me a system. So just trying to make everything easy and convenient and stuff like that. So, you know, if you have any ideas, you can list them in the comment section. I know y'all probably have a lot of ideas. Hey, you might give me some more ideas and look at some more other things. So. This is DC Channel Guns, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.